Hello everyone, my name is Elio Velto and I will present the paper An Optimization Approach for Emergency Vehicle Dispatching and Traffic Light Adjustments in Response to, to Emergency in Smart City. This paper was written by me, Daniel Costa, and Michael Peixoto. Now I will do the outline presentation. First, the introduction about the problem context. Next, I will present the context scenario. After it, the proposed approach uh, will be presented. And next, the simulation results with our methodology will be shown. And finally, I, I will conclude the, this presentation. Um, the adoption of sensors-based monitoring approach has opened up a range of possibilities for data recovery, distributed process, and quality evaluations in urban scenarios. Efficient management systems provide a fundamental service for modern cities, exploring different sensing and processing technologies for the real-time rendering of critical situations. Traffic jam, traffic accidents, fire outbreak, urgent patient transport, violence protests are some possibilities can be monitored by sensors. A study done in 2016 showed that approximately 40% of inhabitants of Sao Paulo, Brazil, spent an average of two hours commuting. This many time sets in motion a series of critical social and economic events for these cities. Uh, the cause of disorders produced a high estimated economic loss, representing about 7.5% of the city's GBD, gross domestic product. But financial disruption is not the only critical factor related to urban mobility uh, challenges. Particular motors, uh, uh, particular motor vehicles are responsible for emission of 60% of CO2 in the transport sector, potentially contributing to the ongoing global warming. And reducing this one is one of the main goals of the United Nations Organization by 20. 30. Traffic accidents is a particular problem to deserve a lot of attention in urban scenarios. According to the Health World Health Organization, uh, this type of accident is the 80th largest cause of death in the world in 2016. Projections show that, 20, that in 2030, it will be the 10th largest cause of death worldwide. The Internet of Things paradigm, the vehicular ad hoc network, and intelligent transport system are some of various technologies that can assist in solving unfortunate problems. The efficient co combination of these approaches can be essential to reduce or even mitigate some related urban context problems. Now we have the goals of this project. The first one was developing an algorithm to out for automatic assignment of emergency vehicles to incident site. When, when an incident happens, an emergency alert system detects, processes, and transmits this information to some operation center. So our application starts operating according to the received alert. Uh, proposed, uh, the other goals of this work uh, was propose a traffic light optimization approach for emergency vehicles, reduce the waiting time for emergency vehicles on the roads, and, re and finally reduce the impact of the emergency alert event. Now I will present the contact scenario. This figure presents the operational scenario of the proposed approach. As we can see, the city can be mapped by a specific risk zone with different severity levels. We have a neutral risk zone uh, where minus occurrence can happen over time. The region with, with vectors has a high risk of fire, impact, impacting of its risk and relevance of the eventual issue alarms. As we can see too, two events of interest uh, happenings at the same time and are detected in different zones, generating two different emergency, emergency reports. So 
optics report, the respective EPU, the average process unit, receives the alarm and process the information and transmit it to operation center. Uh, with its turn, start the automatic vehicle dispersion process. The, this, there is a simple operation with the, uh, with the emergence uh, vehicles are dispatching. Uh, when the central system receives an emergence alarm generated by the emergence process unit. So if you have curious about this, this guide, these elements of these figures, uh, we can see my my paper to to it for it. The proposed approach in this figure is, is presented the logical flow of the proposed approaches. When an emergence alarm is received and properly processed, the specific vehicles are automatically assigned and dispatched to the location of the report emergence. Uh, after it, the emergency vehicle sends a message to the device on the road. It's it on to start the track light optimization process. So uh, about the dispers dispersing emergency vehicles uh, approach, uh, the first one is sent uh, uh, emergency vehicles when an emergency alarm is triggered. Due to the scope limitation and the great number of challenges to be handled in this research area, this work was concerned only three major groups. Uh, there, there are uh, the incidents considered, considered on this third scope are uh, fire incidents, it's any type of critical events uh, that is generated or may produce fire. This is very common in cities. The cities demanding our immediate response of a fire brigade. Health images are some critical situations in may, that may put people in danger, demand the dispersion of ambulance to the affected area. And, policy, and finally, policy-related incidents, uh, as such as urban violence, car accidents, public disturbance, uh, we demand the quickly actions by the policy. So, which will be usually implemented by dispersion of uh, police cars. Well, about the optimization track light approach, uh, when some type of vehicles goes onto the road, uh, each four roads broadcast message to all road nodes, which will be other vehicles or one or more RSU. What RSU are? roadside unit uh, that are implemented, implemented in a Vernet conduct. Such message presents a cell location, the type of vehicles, vehicles uh, whether it is on, in on operation or not, uh, the vehicles, road, and some metadata that are important to receivers. So this process can be seen here. about the simulation results. This paper made use of, uh, of software simulation for the practical application of the proposed approach uh, to the complexity of carrying out real experiments. These simulations were employed in a coordinated and integrated manner to carry out the experiments in the definite urban scenario. Uh, sumo is a simulator urban mobility is a simple road track simulator package. OmniNet++ is an open source network simulation environment based on discrete events that allow the modeling and experimentation of communication network. And finally, VANES is an open source simulation environment that allows the exchange, exchange between the V2V and V2Y approach communications. The veins is used to integrate the Sumo and OmniNet++ working as an interface application through the trace I with Python language. Uh, the map chosen of, for the simulation was one of the center of the city of Campinas because the autos already had previous knowledge of how the traffic in the region worked. As can be seen, each RSU controls a traffic light. 
here are a, are a many traffic lights to be controlled in this in this road in this city map. Uh, the, there are predefined roads, predefined roads to evaluate the proposed approach. Uh, we can see two roads with the road start in the in the right circle and ends in the red in the green circle. We have here the road one and the road two. Predefined because the sumo needs to be to know previously the roads for simulation. The table presents the parameters and settings, uh, parameters and settings employed in the simulation. Uh, two categories of vehicles were included in this scenario, passenger vehicles and emergency, emergency vehicles. Uh, we have uh, communication, uh, standard communication of the sumo, communication standard uh, uh, IEEE, uh 802.11e uh the broadcast interval uh is the interval at which messages are sent by emergency vehicles to the the other nodes of the simulation is resetting uh it in two seconds and the warning ev emergency emergency vehicle distance uh to 200 meters uh, it's the determine the minimum distance between the EV and the RSU that will free up the flow in the uh, traffic light optimization. Uh, this figure in results, uh, the, this first result showed the the CO2 consumption of the emergency vehicles in the distinguished scenarios. We have uh, here we have there a uh, true distinguished scenario uh, with optimization uh, is a blue uh, and without uh, optimization is the orange color. Um, there is, there are the uh, another result. Uh, this figure show the total time spent by the vehicle, the emer emergency vehicle during the simulation. There is a reduction of approximately uh, 30, 90 seconds between the scenario with and without optimization approach. Uh, the correlation between both figures happens because the less time the vehicle is on the road, fewer CO2 is emitted. And finally, uh, the, our proposed system provides to be capable of identify an emergency alarm and quickly restore distribute, distributing emergency emergency vehicles to the location of the detected emer emergencies. And as future works, uh, we will explore other applications in the ITS domain, processing notice settings and real-time data. Uh, we, will, we will to implement uh, whole suggestion algorithms, and finally to explore more efficient algorithms for automatic vehicles allocation. So thank you for your attention and I'm open to questions.